Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to identify and delete duplicate records from a table. So for that, what I'll do is I'll create a table uh, and I will populate that table with some unique records first of all and then with those unique records, I'll create some duplicates and then I'll insert some duplicate records, right? So here I'm taking database Adventure Works 2014 into consideration and for our sample records, I'm using the person dot person table. Okay, and to create a record set, what I'm doing is I'm taking first name, last name, title, and person type columns from this person dot person table, and I'm creating a contact ID as an identity column. So it will be populated automatically from one to infinity, as in when I insert records, so it will be automatically incremented. Okay, so what first of all what I'll do is I'll just create this table. Okay, and I'll insert some sample records from adventure works person table okay uh, that is this person dot person table so here as you can see insert into dupe contacts select top 10 I'll just select 10 records okay from person dot person table and on selecting these you can see right first name last name title and person type and as we made the contact ID as a identity column by seeding it as 1 and increment it as 1 so it has started with 1 and finally ended with 10 now what I'll do is I'll duplicate I'll create some duplicate records within this record set right so what I'll do is I'll insert into dupe contacts table from the dupe contacts table itself what I'll do is I'll select top 50 percent records means half the records from the dupe contacts table right so let's see okay so total records are 15 and I've ordered them by first name last name so you can see here right uh, this Gail and Ken Rob right Roberto and Terry so these are duplicated correct now let's insert some more records uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm inserting some more records from the same table itself into the same table and I'm selecting now top 20 records right let's see so here total records are 18 now in the table after them 10 are unique records and 8 records are duplicate that we want to identify so here in the record set I have again ordered by first name last name contact ID so you can see here uh, Gail has two duplicate records Ken has three duplicate records Rob has two Roberto has two and Terry has sorry Roberto has three and Terry also has three so in this exercise what we are gonna do is we are gonna identify the duplicate record so we are taking into consideration that the contact ID with the lowest value would be the original one and the maximum values greater values will be the duplicates and we'll identify these duplicates and we will try to delete them right so there are different methods based upon your SQL Server version so if you are working with SQL Server 2005 and above all these methods will work if you are below that I'll tell you uh, which method is for you okay so first method is by using row number function so what I'm doing here is so uh, don't confuse with begin transaction because I have several methods and I'll be deleting the record so I have just added begin transaction at the initial and the rollback at the end after deleting the record so that the records are uh, so that the deleted records are rolled back and reinserted into a table right so that I can show you the uh, other methods also right so let's go by method one so I'm considering the first name and last name as my condition criteria to identify duplicates so what I'll do is select contact ID first name last name title person and I'll create a calculated column over here and I'm partitioning this record set by first name and last name right because this is my duplicate criteria so I'm partitioning it by first name and last name and ordering by contact ID so when I'm ordering it by contact ID so it will create a new calculated column for the particular set and then select the star from the CTE where the number of dupes is greater than one and ordered by this so let's just do a select star from the CTE first of all right and we'll see how this row number works okay so here if you can see Gale was my first record set right so it has identified as one and two 111 the records that you are showing 111 are the unique and original records and the records where you are seeing non one like two three so these are the duplicate records right so first of all Gale this one this one is my duplicate record 
then I'll go to Ken so Ken 2 and 3 is my duplicate record this is the original one then Roberto if you see here Roberto with ID 3 is my original one and 2 3 ID these are my duplicate ones and similarly for the Terry right one this is the original record with the contact ID with the minimal value and these two are the records that were added later on right as, as duplicates so these are identified as two and three so what so it's very simple right so or, all the original records are flagged as one and all the non original records or duplicate records are marked by numbers greater than one right so if I have to just list out the duplicate record so what I'll do where number of dupes is greater than one so I'll get the list of all duplicate records so in the dupe contacts the total number of records were 18 and initially the unique records were 10 so due to, so the duplicates were 8 so you can see here all these duplicate records coming over here right and to delete them you just have to do one thing with this whole query how you, where you identify these duplicate records you just have to comment out the select stuff from dupes and just add a delete from dupe statement that's it and you are done so I'll just start a begin transaction and okay I'll have to comment the order by also and just see your deleted records are gone select the star from dupe contacts will give you only the original records okay uh, let's roll back the delete that we just did okay and let's move to the method 2 so this is the method that I was telling you can be used when you are working in SQL Server version less than 2005 because so this row number function was added in SQL Server 2005 so this won't work in versions lesser than 2005 like 2000 or 7.0 or 6.5 so this is the second method where you are doing a self join right and here what I'm doing is I've taken two sets of the same table dupe contacts A and dupe contacts B and my two my two criteria for first name and last name for identify duplicates and what my criteria is only my minimum record would be the the record and to retain the original record was the contact ID with the minimal value and to remove the duplicates contact IDs with the greater value right so let's just execute this statement so here you can also see right all these duplicate records coming so again to remove all these duplicate records simple just comment the select and add a delete from A that is our duplicate contacts A this particular set right so I'll just start a begin transaction and delete all these records and we'll see how many records are here 10 records right all the original records are contained in here I'll just roll back okay and after roll backing if we again see the contents we again have the duplicates records here right after 8 after 11 to 18 now let's move to the third method so this method is used by aggregates and subqueries this also this method can also be worked with SQL Server previous versions here what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, using a subquery and the aggregate function min so again I'm telling you my main criteria was the first name and last name and the minimum contract ID that I had to maintain so if I have to select the duplicate records what I'm doing is I'm just taking the minimum contact ID of the combination of my records and I'm just excluding them from the main list that is the dupe contacts like contact ID not in the minimum contact so by this not in I'll get all those records which are larger than the minimal contact ID so again here right you can see all the records greater than 10 all the eight duplicate records are listed here again to do again to delete these records what you can do is just comment the select line and add a delete from dupe contacts right so I'll just execute this statement right and your all duplicate contacts are gone okay and finally I'll just drop the table itself okay so here you see it was very very easy to identify and delete duplicate records so by using either of these three methods you can identify and delete the duplicate records from a table so if you want the script you can check my blog sqlwithmanoj.com identify delete duplicate records from a table you can check this link in the description below of this video and uh, and please let me know your comments related to this video and my other videos please like if you really like this video and please subscribe thank you